Hi guys and welcome back to another little ride and uh, this is going to be a quick update. Um, I've done 600 miles on this wheel now and um, I just want to give you a quick show around the wheel and then we're going to go for a ride and then um, I'll do some complaining and I will do some uh, uh, sort of praise to this wheel and um, hope this might help someone if they're looking to um, buy a S22 um, or uh, well, I just want to find out a little bit more about how the wheel holds up um, after 600 miles. 600 miles again is not that much but uh, but but yeah it just gives you a rough idea of of what the problems is or uh, if there's if there's if there's if there's problems that you can solve or problems that is going to make you have to go back to the dealership the whole time to get the stuff fixed but first let's have a look around the wheel see how it's been holding up okay so let's look the left side of the wheel as you can see i'm using the grizzler pads i do not have the fairing yet um, i'm still um, deciding if i really need the fairing um, so far with my pads fixed with um, what's i think the e6000 glue um, because the um, the velcro came loose off the plastic and uh, this e6000 glue has just been brilliant to be honest it just works great there you can see my position of my uh, pads i know it's not very high but it's sort of um the front ones the front ones here they do touch the the sort of the middle of my shin not really ideal um the the flow pads the bigger ones would probably have have been better but uh, yeah the, these ones are working perfect for my for my uh, ride scenario um anything else i've taken the wheel apart about three four times now and uh, all the screws and stuff is holding up well if you can see there's the tire that's after 600 miles it is uh, still in really good condition as i said i like this gap between the between the tire and the mud guard that really keeps um, it from clogging up also this tire has been really good in the mud um, and also in uh, clearing it so that is brilliant as you guys can see there's the sliders both sides now um, I've got the, the the upgraded sliders from King Song um, or this or the what they call now the stock sliders and they um, they've been uh, good in the beginning but I'll cover that a little bit later the handle has been fine I haven't had any issues with that I did um, come off the wheel about what about three times and um, not a scratch on this quite bizarrely um, because the side pad does help uh, protect the wheel um, this front handle that came off on day one um, I was uh, uh, upgrading the firmware of the wheel and getting the wheel ready just after I've taken it out of the box and I was using the handle to turn the wheel around and boops and the handle was in my hand <laughs> um, a few um, scuffs and scrapes here at the bottom but actually not too much because it's a nice high running wheel um, as you can see there there's the channel that is um, dirty but um, it's not clogged up either we have been having a dry spell here in the UK so um, it is it has been uh, really good again that's on the front you can see that is pretty pretty good on that side because it's so high it really um, it really clears everything out nicely the only thing that I can say and um, these little grub screws here um, they do come loose so a little bit of blue Loctite and uh, screwing them back in fastening them that holds them down very nicely I didn't invest in uh, um, some Loctite because um, these things do require that um, the lights has been brilliant um, as you guys can see they really I've got one set lower to the ground and the other one a little bit higher so um, it gives me a nice uh, beam it's really nice to be able to uh, to sort of uh, set set that this uh, stand um, the stand has been working 
perfect. Um, I also use the stand to uh, take the wheel apart because this whole this whole um, top suspension system comes out and then you've got the batteries in your hand and then the wheel and the suspension uh, sliders is, is is bolted to the wheel. Uh, these little things, little covers here on the back that I've lost. Lost the one first and then the other one came off uh, somewhere, I do not know. The seat, the seat's good. Um, I wish the seat was a little bit, um, what do you call it, a little bit more, there was a little bit more support within the seat to make it a bit more rigid. Um, and also if it could have been a little bit longer. But I do understand if this, if this is folded in, there's no chance for support. But if you put something like a metal brace inside the rubber maybe, um, sort of like a plastic, uh, uh, like a hard seat, like a, like a whatever what they do with um, mountain bike or 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 push bike, cycling bikes seats with a plastic support in, that might give you a better, um, stronger seat. The thing, um, the screen, the screen is is okay. Um, I would have liked a bit more detailed screen like. Um, the Sherman has got on really and um, with a little bit more details and um, this feels to me it is all awesome and whatever you can see the speed and so forth it's nice and clear in in, in bright sunlight and stuff but for me it's it's um, uh, the other screen has got so much more detail on um, or detail that you can see on there if you're interested in it because I don't really want to open the app the whole time very rarely use the apps, um, only for checking firmware and so forth. But um, it would be really nice if that was a little bit more detailed. Um, but it's nice and um, because it's on the top, it's part of the controller board as well. It's nice and sealed. It is, it is like a unit that can be removed because that's also the controller unit that you take off and you slide it through to get that off. Um, let's just get the wheel balancing. So that's the wheel balancing. Uh, rear light for me is awesome. I would have again liked a solid light. I know it's it's a it's a funky looking light. I do appreciate that. I love it. I would have liked to have a a a larger, uh, brighter light. Uh, the suspension has been working really well um, when you upgrade the sliders. I have added. Um, little um, washers and stuff into the suspension at the bottom arm um, and uh, yeah I've got pretty much running my, um, my my suspension on medium settings so everything is in the middle so the rebound is about 13 clicks from fast and um, I think the the hard and the soft the compression side is setting is set to um, also like 15 clicks I think um, things to watch out for the top two here again make sure that that is um, uh, tied down both sides get yourself a nice allen key set so you can do that the top bolts as well the ones there boom and there make sure that's all tight same for those ones down there the side ones and then the bottom one as well just make sure that that is all good the, the foot or the stand side, that has been um, really solid. All the other, other bolts and stuff here on the sides or whatever, they are all perfect. They haven't had any issues. So as you guys can see, I ride the wheel with the two holes um, open from the bottom for the suspension. That's to raise, or, or sorry, to make it a little bit of a softer ride or a softer, higher ride and so forth. But yeah, as you can see, the pads is um, it doesn't have a lot of support at the rear, so it does uh, bend. But it gives me grip on the on my calves, so I can uh, so I can stop. That's the main idea, really. But yeah, the light absolutely awesome. See, so yeah, this is what I was saying you know, about the seat. If the seat had a plastic brace in there, um, you could probably make the seat a little bit longer, and then it would have been. Uh, Good. But yes, I can ride seated. It is comfortable. 
I don't do long seated rides, but if I do need to sit down, this, this works perfect. The spike pedals, or uh, uh, slightly sharper nubbins, <laughs> they work well. I ride with um, like a snow boot with some nice tread on the bottom. So uh, this, this has been perfect. As soon as you set up your pads correctly, you can see there the pad is also, this one is also coming loose from the Velcro. So I'll have to, I'll have to glue that one on too. Let's go for a quick little ride. I've got a little new area here that I haven't been down, so uh, I want to go and try this out. And we talk a little bit further about the wheel. This, uh, this is a horse trail here, and uh, it's a little bit bumpy. But it's all good. So yeah, as I was saying, you know, the, um, the tires has been good. I like the profile of the tire. I also like the softness of the tire. It, it, uh, it really makes uh, the ride pretty smooth. I'm running it at, I think, 31 PSI. And uh, that's been perfect. Um, it's been really good. A lot of guys say you can run it higher. That's perfectly fine. But for uh, my type of riding that I do, that's a, that's a really, really good, um, really good pressure. Now, um, again, I'm a 75 kilogram rider, just so you know. Probably, probably about yeah um, just just under 80 oh, this is this road I've been down like way way back and it actually comes to a dead end let's go and check it out but yeah so uh, so let's cover a few of, of um, the plus points of this wheel and I think I'm gonna stop here in the front so uh, let's quickly see Now this is uh, this is interesting. Never been down here. Woo! Wonder where this comes out. Let's stop here so I can give you guys some feedback. Okay, let's, uh, let's talk about um, a few of the cons of this wheel. Um, firstly, for newer riders, this thing is uh, pretty heavy. Um, but as soon as you get used to it, as soon as you get used to riding these wheels, um, you sort of slowly upgrade because you need a bit more range or you need a, want a little bit more speed. So um, you sort of get used to the wheel as soon as you go from a smaller wheel to a little bit larger, a little bit larger, and so forth. But when you do um, look at reviews and whatever and what to buy at, at this current time, everyone is going to go, yeah, I recommend the biggest wheel, the best wheel. And, and it's not always uh, covers everyone's needs. So people with uh, new riders would buy something like this, or they would buy the Sherman or any of the other big wheels, and they get the thing, and it's such a handful to actually... Uh, maneuver about that um, it becomes intimidating so if you upgrading you won't um, find it too difficult to move to this wheel but if you're a new rider just be aware that this this thing is 34 kilograms um, and it might not sound much but it uh, can be a handful and it's a super powerful motor so if you do something wrong by lifting it up by accident or it spins out or it falls or you ride fast and you fall off and this thing keeps on going and whatever then um, um, you can you can run into some trouble you can hurt other people and you can also uh, damage the wheel and yourself because it's it's too much power and um, if you if you don't if you just get out and bomb down down a mountain or something that line or go on the road or whatever so just be aware of that that it's a it is a 
it is a big wheel and a, and a heavy wheel and a super powerful wheel. Um, so uh, um, don't want to discourage you from buying it. It's a lovely riding wheel, but just be aware of that. Spe specifically newer riders. Other thing, the suspension. Now, you know, a lot of people say the suspension is good. A lot of people say the suspension is bad. Um, the original slider system, uh, rubber sliders, is bad. Um, it makes the suspension not really travel much. Um, 430 mils of travel. Um, if you upgrade to the slider um, system from Kingsong, that makes a massive difference. Now, um, the slider system from Kingsong, uh, the bearings you have to um, hammer on and half of my bearings now is the the plastic coating has fallen off i've sort of given up on it so i'm not going to open the wheel to clean it out and so forth it just needs to work now it also went from when i cleaned it out through a massive phase of squeaking like mad um, i don't have to ring a bell or anything um, if from um, if people is walking in the in the path because this thing just squeaks so much this squeaking is now totally stopped absolutely weird after about after about 150 miles i think it just totally stopped so now it's fine um, i think if i open up and i clean it out again it's going to start squeaking again and then so forth um i haven't seen spare bearings that you can buy anywhere from any of the shops in the uk so i don't know a lot of guys say the ning ning um, slider kit is much better so i'm keeping my eye out on a few websites that sell them so i could maybe upgrade to them but i'm thinking of i don't really want to spend any more money on the wheel it just needs to work now um, i use it for commuting to the office and then also riding some trails mountain bike trails and so forth so the thing just needs to work i don't i don't really want to customize the whole time a lot of people do i don't i like riding it um, keeping it maintained but that's it that's specifically why I buy or ride these things because there's so little maintenance not like a mountain bike or a e-mountain bike where you need to lube the chain and you need to do this and you need to do that and this uh, brake pads need to be replaced and this and that the other there's almost zero maintenance on this thing and this is really what I enjoy um, any of the um, other stuff that I can think of, uh, so, so that covers the suspension. A lot of people com 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 complaining about the tire. It dips in if you um, turn sharply. Again, it's something that I've, um, uh, uh, you learn to get used to the tire. And as soon as you're used to the tire, then it doesn't become a problem anymore. So I'm happy with that. The tire is great. It clears the mud. Um, it, 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 it handles very well in the mud. Um, thick mud you know it can only squish out as much mud as it can and then um, it's going to start feeling a little bit uh, wobbly but otherwise the tires thickness the tires um, sort of uh, 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 strength like side wall um, hardness is really nice compared to if I compared to the v12 I rode it was very hard um, it, the tires got nice softness into it um, and then also with the suspension upgrade or the sliders or whatever and the big coil shock that keeps the suspension out so your sag is very little um, it sort of really really makes the makes the ride really nice now again I haven't ridden the uh, uh, Goat Master and I haven't ridden the Paton it's on my radar to try and get a ride on, on that on those wheels so I can uh, compare it but what they've said the suspension is a little bit harder compared to the Patton or the Sherman S or the Master where it's way more plush. And I would really like to try that out. So uh, I'll see if I can do that. Or the V13 so forth. Um, pads and stuff. The side is really cool. You can get a, a fender, a fairing that makes the, the side area bigger so you can fit bigger pads on. That's something to, to buy if you're interested in fitting bigger pads um the pedals for me has been really good as i said it's got enough grip that it that that it works for for me um the front handle is nice to manage the wheel the wheel um i'm riding it um at a tilt what is it the tilt forward i think of one degree so the wheel if you buy the wheel and it's zero degrees it sort of rolls back because it's quite bum heavy 
But um, if you tilt it a little bit forward, then it sort of levels the wheel out so it will stand still like it's now. You know, it's, it's standing still. If, it, if it's that um, zero degrees, then it would roll back uh, automatically. Uh, I like the suspension where you can also adjust it. The shock is nice. It's got loads of travel. Um, and, you know, for a 34 kilogram wheel, this thing is fairly nimble. Yes, in the beginning, you'll get, need to get used to... Uh, maneuvering the wheel and you know fighting it a bit but as soon as you get used to it it rides really really well it's such a nice riding wheel that's what i can say i love the king song rides my s18 loved it this thing love it the ride is absolutely awesome i just wish they would sort out the suspension make it less maintenance it needs to be something that like the pattern and the sherman s where the suspension is well it looks to me if, there's, if there is any problems with them, please drop it in the comments below if you've got some feedback about that. But for me, it looks like it's way less maintenance. And this is what you want. You want to be able to get on the wheel, have a safe, secure feeling, have a nice ride, plush ride, and then also have zero maintenance. Keep the thing clean, keep all the moving parts a little bit oiled, uh, lightly oiled or whatever, but that's it. Morning. Morning. Um, what else can I say about the wheel? Nothing really. <laughs> um, would I recommend it? Yes. Um, I think it is a it is a good wheel. I think also the newer versions with the um, um, the, the slider upgrades is good. Um, if you know what you're getting into, um, we are still in the UK. I think the first batch of patterns arrived and went out to the pre-order guys that ordered it way way back um, and now the only other, other ones coming hopefully the end of July August you know all the other people have already forgotten about the wheel and we're only getting the first batch in the UK but uh, that's one of the wheels that I'm really keen to ride because it's pretty much a little bit more heavier than this one but it, I think it's a it will be a good ride okay guys um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about the wheel. It's for me a great wheel. The S18 is a great wheel. I think the S18 suspension setup is probably better. I would have just liked more travel. The S19, I think it's got the same sliders stuff like this. So again, if they don't have proper bearings and stuff in there and you have to maintain it, a lot of people kind of complain about it. Um, I also don't like, well, personally, I don't like the orange color. I would have liked, or I like red. <laughs> Uh, um, the red color or a full blacked out version yes you can wrap it and all that stuff but yeah man when you have the option it's usually black first and then uh, then you do the other colors so we'll see how that pans out but yeah the pattern looks to me for me for my riding that i do it's an awesome wheel the sherman s is too expensive and it's um, a little bit heavy um, it's sort of that mid-range you know um, if, if if I can get a solid 50 mile range, then I I'll, I'll, will be happy with that, with not too much weight. Okay, right, guys, but yeah, if there's any questions about the wheel that I've missed or whatever I haven't covered, please drop it in the comments below. Um, if you have feedback about your S22, good or bad, drop it in the comments below. Um, it might help other people. You know, everyone's riding environment is different. They experience different um, uh, uh, pros and cons to the wheels. So if you guys can drop it down in the comments below, it might help other people seeing the video and reading the comments to say, oh, pff, you know, um, oh, I didn't think about that because I ride in that type of conditions. Um, but yeah, if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And um, yeah, hope you have a lovely day and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.
this is a old sharp hill or sharp hill this is a steep hill so uh, you see as you can see my pads is not really pushing down on the top of my shin so it doesn't give me enough leverage especially if you want to do like uh, really uh, steep climbs but punch the the toes in in the front and then uh, a little bit of balance boom you can make it <laughs> 